I'm Harrison Graham. And I'm Chase Sr. We started a brand new show here at Chat Sports. It's called Any Given Thursday. We go live every single Thursday, 5 o'clock Eastern, 2 o'clock Pacific. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and enjoy this video because this show first aired on that live show on Chat Sports. So sit back and enjoy the show. He's Chase Sr. I'm Harrison Graham. Any given Thursday by Chat Sports. We go live every Thursday at 5 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Central Time here on Chat Sports. Chase, I've gotten you into college football this year. That's the uh, that that was the goal. Yep. And now we're gonna break down one of the top matchups, if not the top matchup this week between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Georgia Bulldogs. And I gotta tell you, the line in this one where Georgia is an 18 and a half point favorite is uh is just wild to me. I, I don't understand it whatsoever. Yeah, let me go back to your original point. As a guy who hails from the Northeast in the city of Philadelphia, where it's a professional sports town, I was never much of a college football guy, right? I mean, I grew up watching Penn State football, and I've adopted them as my college football team. But now that I'm in the South, as we're emanating to you from our chat sports studios in Dallas, Texas, I'm all in on college football. You and I last weekend, we sat on your couch, grilled some barbecue, drank some beers and seltzers and watched college football for like 12 straight hours. I plan on doing that again this Saturday, <laughs> and it all gets started with this matchup. Now, last week, Harrison, you and I just couldn't fathom why Notre Dame was about touchdown underdogs against Wisconsin yes. at a neutral site, Soldier Field, which probably skews toward Notre Dame because they have the more nationwide brand. This week, I'm feeling about as strongly about this line as I am that line. I think 18 and a half points. Let, let me say this straight up right now, and uh, Chase's mic uh, cut out there a little bit, so we'll bring him back in uh, momentarily here. Uh, we'll go ahead. I think he's back in. Uh, Chase, we, we got you. Am I back? Yeah, you're I'm back. I'm back. All right, we're okay, good. Okay, so I don't know where I dipped out, but I think – Arkansas getting 18 and a half points. Yes. Given that they're a top 10 team, they're really fast defensively, they're very physical on the offensive and defensive lines, yes. is straight up disrespectful. Now, it all depends on the health status of their quarterback. Is he going to be able to go? Is he going to be out of this game? Because that young freshman did not look good, and it looked as though he couldn't throw the football they, at all. And I understand that Georgia's defense is very, very yes. good, but that offense – isn't really all no. that explosive. And I really like Arkansas's defense. And when you're a top 10 team going up against another top 10 team, arguably they've been the most impressive, not the best, the most impressive team in the SEC so far. How are you 18 and a half point underdogs? I, I don't get it. More betting analysis to come from the pair of us and uh, those two quarterbacks we mentioned, KJ Jefferson for Arkansas. Got a little banged up last week. Should play though. JT Daniels, the quarterback for Georgia. Predict the score. Arkansas, Georgia, top 10 matchup in the SEC on the hedges in Athens, Georgia. Get your score predictions in. Let us know who you got winning this game. So I'll break down what Arkansas has done. We're going to give you kind of a gambling insider uh, look at this matchup. Uh, you look at Arkansas through the first month of the season, 4-0 against the spread. So not only are they winning, they're winning impressively. Good teams win, great teams cover. That's the old saying, right? Uh, week one against Rice, this was probably the worst game they played. They struggled for about two and a half quarters. Offense woke up. They end up winning 38-17 to and covering the spread. Week two against Texas, this is when people were like, okay, yeah, Texas isn't back, but maybe Arkansas is back. Sam Pittman doing a hell of a job. They physically overwhelmed the Longhorns in a major, major way in a 40-21 to win in week two. Week three against Georgia Southern took care of business. No surprise there. 45-19. to And then another impressive win against Texas A&M. Neutral site game at Jerry World in Arlington, Texas. 20-10 to win. And outside of a 50-yard touchdown run from the Aggies, completely swarmed that A&M offense for four quarters. Uh, another betting note for this one. If you want to make some cheddar, if you want to put your money where your mouth is, this is an interesting one. Arkansas overs are three and one this year. So that means the total points between Arkansas and their opponents, whatever the projected has been with Vegas, the over has hit. So a little higher scoring than you would think with a physical defensive matchup with Arkansas throughout uh, the entire season. Now, last week, the under hit with a good SEC defense in Texas A&M. You think about that moving forward this week with a good defensive team in Georgia, maybe the under is actually the play in this matchup. So that's the Arkansas side of things. 
Chase will get you to the uh, Georgia side of things here momentarily. Yeah, before we get to Georgia's record against the spread, make sure you subscribe to us here at Chat Sports. Of course, we appreciate you making any given Thursday a part of your day. We go live every single Thursday, 5 o'clock Eastern, 2 o'clock Pacific. Subscribe and join us. But it's not the only thing we do here. Of course, we love chopping it up, talking a little college football, but we hit you with the latest NFL news and rumors, NBA news and rumors. So subscribe to the channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below. As for how Georgia has fared against the spread this year, they've been really good. That defense under Kirby Smart has been lights out. They have pros littered all across the field in the trenches, in that defensive backfield. They consistently continue to churn out elite professional prospects. Week one against Clemson, it was a boring game. A good win, 10-3 over Clemson. Now, that win doesn't look as good as it used to because Clemson has really just fallen off a cliff. That offense looks awful. But it was a good win at the time for Georgia to start the season. Week 2 against UAB, they blow them out 56-7. Week 3 against South Carolina, 40-13 win. I had South Carolina plus 30. Back I'm glad I was cover. able to cover Back by cover. the skin of my teeth. That was a loss <laughs> against the spread for Georgia, but a massive win. And then Week 4 at Vandy. Is Vanderbilt the worst team in FCS this year? For Power I think five, they might yes. be. For Power 5. Yeah, I, they're, they're awful. Yes. I mean, straight up terrible. Georgia stomped them 62 to nothing. And Georgia overs this year are 3-1. and one. But Georgia's forte, their bread and butter, has been defense. Arkansas' strength is also defense. So even though Georgia overs are 3-1 and one this year, I think this is going to be a low-scoring, defensive-oriented game. So I'm not touching the over. Like I mentioned, I'm smashing Arkansas, getting all those points. Chase and I both love the 18.5 that Arkansas is getting. If you agree, put your money where your mouth is. Go to BetUS. Use the link below. That way you can get the promo code of 125% deposit bonus when you type in chat125. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Type in that promo code, chat125. Put down 100 bucks, you get 125 in free play money, and you can bet on games, prop bets, parlays, teasers, Major League Baseball playoffs just around the corner, NBA starting next month. It's going to be fantastic. Chatsports.com slash bet. I just, I feel like you're getting, you're just, they're getting, Here's Vegas, the thing too. Vegas is giving you money here. Sam Take Pittman used to be Georgia's offensive line coach. He knows this program. Take, he knows how they Take operate. Take Arkansas, by the way. Arkansas money line is about plus 700 right now. I put down 10 bucks to 170. I actually did this. I don't know if I did nice. this. Nice. You didn't tell me but that. Before, uh, I before love the it. show, put laid 10 on Arkansas. Hey, you don't want it? Bet Arkansas gets the spread. You'll get most of that money back anyways. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use the promo code chat125. By the way, I like the under 48 and a half. That feels a little bit too high. I don't know if I'll put money on it, but I'm definitely gassing Arkansas with those 18 and a half points. Okay, Chase, give us your pick and give us the, uh, the betting implications as well. Yeah, I've been so complimentary of Arkansas. I think what Sam Pittman has done has been one of the best reclamation projects that college football has seen over the last decade or two. He turned the program around overnight. Last year, they were so competitive. And I think they're ready for a stage like this. They've already shown it this year, beating Texas A&M at Jerry World, taking down a pretty solid Texas team, completely dominating them. I do think they lose here. And it's not because of Arkansas. It's just because of how good Georgia is. I give Georgia the slight edge, and Georgia, the dogs, win in a close one. The question is, can one of these teams win the SEC, or is it still Alabama's to lose? So let us know. Who wins the SEC here in 2021? It's Bama's until someone beats them, but I think that Florida game should give some teams some hope. By the way, Arkansas built very similarly to Florida. They want to run down your yep. throats and play defense. That's going to be an interesting matchup when the Razorbacks play the Tide. Who wins the SEC this year? Let us know down in the comments. Here's my pick. Georgia wins, Arkansas covers. We're on the same page. But I don't – 18 and a half. I, the only way that happens is if Jefferson gets hurt. Yeah, K.J. Or, Jefferson gets hurt, they're screwed. And then Malik Hornsby can't throw the ball. The, yeah. the true freshman who's a blazer, by the way. He's from run Houston? 4-3, four, 4-4. Four, four, four. He's, a, he's a speedster, but they don't trust him to throw yet. So Jefferson's health is critical here, but – I do think Arkansas keeps this close. That defense is getting disrespected with this line, in my opinion. Uh, you know, Vegas always knows. I get that. But there's occasionally one or two games a week where you're like, hmm, that line, I like what I'm feeling there. This week, the Arkansas game is that for me. So make some money. I've done really well against college this year. So has Chase. We're struggling in the NFL betting. But we're, I'm 15-11 against the spread in college. I think Chase is... 
you know, like 14 and 9 or something like that. Pretty We're both solid. well above 500 uh, betting college this year. So go ahead and uh, take our word, Arkansas. Put put a little 5 or 10 piece uh, money New line pig. as well. I think Arkansas could win this game. I'm not picking it, but I think it's definitely possible. All right, there you go. There's a betting insider Trace, look is there of a this top pig, uh, 10 matchup. Type ARK same. for the Arkansas <laughs> Okay. Type ARK for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Type UGA for the Georgia Bulldogs. Who wins this top 10 matchup? By the way, 12 o'clock Eastern, perfect day to start your college football Saturday.